everyone in this video tutorial we are going to see how to download weather data from nasa power website so we are going to download the weather data in csv as well as in net cdf file format so type in nasa power weather data search you can see the link power.larc.nasc.gov i'll be sharing the link in the description please do check it out now you can see this is the web page here go to data access data access viewer so the data which we are going to be downloaded is a course resolution data and it is available at the global scale now you can see here this is the map section let us use the mouse left click to navigate to our area of interest you can also use the scroll button for zoom in and zoom out so let me zoom into my area of interest so my area of interest is lies over here so after zooming in to our area of interest next is we are going to use the regional regional type and coming down to the user community we are going to choose agro climatology and temporal level, temporal level if you want to choose daily you can choose daily or you can uh, you can choose monthly and annual so i'm going to choose monthly and annual next is uh, select a location so if you have the lat long you can input the lat long otherwise you can use this rectangular sketch tool select it and use your mouse left click like this you can draw a box don't leave the mouse uh, left uh, click button just press it till you draw the box now leave it after selecting it now come down the next option is time extend so put on the time extends the data is available from 1984 to 2022 so i am going to uh, choose it as a decadal 2012 to 2022 now let us see the parameters which we are interested in so here i am going to choose all sky surface short wave downwards irradiance now just come down You can see temperature at 2 meter so in temperature I need the maximum and minimum temperature after that come down you could see the relative humidity and after selecting selecting the relative humidity I am going to select the precipitation sum average precipitation sum average uh, wind speed wind direction and you can or, uh, you can also choose the surface soil wetness or a uh, profile soil moisture so like this you can choose your parameters and after choosing your parameters click on uh, the parameters search now finally we are going to select the format so first I am going to select CSV hit the button submit automatically that data will be down starting to download so you can see here it has been loading up so the data has been successfully downloaded we shall also download the netcdf file hit the button submit so this data is also being downloaded so now let us first visualize this csv data how it is how it looks like so after opening the csv this is how it looks like date from 2012 to 2022 you can see the uh, resolution of this data this is mira 2 and the resolution is 0.5 into 0 0.0625 degrees 
okay so you can see here temperature t2 m is nothing but temperature rh is relative humidity wd is wind direction ws is wind speed and this is the soil surface soil wetness temperature in maximum temperature in minimum so first is uh, t2m you can see here t2m is nothing but temperature uh, based on the lat long you can see the temperature temperatures for each of the month and the annual temperature that you can see here if you go down you can see the other data sets other weather, weather data sets now you can see the after t2m this is temperature then you can find rh likewise at the bottom rh is nothing but relative humidity okay likewise you can find the other data sets down below so after rh you can find wd wd is nothing but wind direction this is given in direction okay for each of the month this been given in direction you can find this is the lat long and this is the direction so you can use this for preparing a, a charts or you can use it uh, convert it uh, or you can also import this data based uh, based on the lat long you can import this values and make a raster using interpolation yes. techniques so let us visualize the file that is a net cdf file which you have downloaded in arcgis so this is the net cdf file as you can see here so this is the arcgis let us open the arc toolbox so here you can find multi-dimensional tools click on multi-dimensional tools make net cdf to raster layer click on this tool and let us import the data by clicking on this option so just uh, select this file with downloaded nc file that's cdf now after inputting you can see the variables so here you can find the wind direction relative humidity wind speed temperature in minimum precipitation sum temperature temperature maximum and soil wetness so you can choose any among this file so i'm going to choose the precipitation okay now let us click okay to begin the process so you can check the output this is nothing but the precipitation high value and low value you can change the symbology also so i'm going to just remove the invert option you can see high rainfall is observed over this region now if i add the shape file you can see how it is looking for this region this is a coarse resolution data so if you have any other doubts in this you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching so if you like please do subscribe and give a like to the video thank you